Hey guys, Mr. Lopez here with another Just Devotional. Today, talking about integrity and what it is to win at all costs. You know, our world is always about the winning, knowing that it is about just who you are and what you make yourself to be. And winning is everything. Win at all costs, no matter what it takes. So the Bible has something to say about all of this. The Bible talks specifically to Israel through Amos about the things that are going on. So if you'll turn in your Bibles today to Amos 8, we're going to read verses 4 through 6. Amos 8, 4 through 6. It says, Hear this, O ye that swallow up the needy, even to make the poor of the land to fail saying, When will the new moon be gone, that we may sell corn, and the Sabbath, that we may set forth wheat, making the ephah small and the shekel great, and falsifying the balances by deceit, that we may buy the poor for silver and the needy for a pair of shoes, yea, and sell the refuge of the wheat. The Lord hath sworn by the excellency of Jacob, surely I will never forget any of their works. He talks about how they were falsifying, how they were lying about things. They were cheating and deceiving, trying to get gain, this dishonest gain. In Ezekiel twenty two twenty seven, 27, it talks about dishonest gain and what happens to those who try to gain dishonestly. Our world is all about this. It is about winning and nothing else. Getting for you, not about others, but you. But the Bible says something completely different. God speaks harshly to them, talking to them about how he won't come, that there is something that he is depriving them of because of their deceit, that dishonest gain. So I was looking through the internet for an example of this, an example of it. And lo and behold, I found something. I imagine that our world where someone got gain dishonestly. But this one's close to home. And for you football fans, I know 1990 was a long time ago. But for me, that was the year I graduated, 1990. Here we are, CU versus the Missouri Tigers. This one is called the fifth down touchdown. Okay, They win this game. It's CU Buffs against the Missouri Tigers. At the end, it ends with CU winning 33-31. to Missouri leading and defending its goal. Colorado grounds the ball on first and goal, leaving 28 seconds to play. But watch the down indicator. Second down. And the run up the middle. No score. Keep an eye on that indicator over there. It'll be in the middle of your screen. It does not change. The run is stuck. Five seconds left. So now it ought to be fourth down, right? Well, the indicator is still inaccurate. Colorado gets the ball, snaps it, and throws it into the ground again. That's four, and that's all you get in college football. And then they give him another shot. Charlie Johnson squirms in, and even that was too close for comfort. Colorado celebrates the victory. Missouri's people aren't uh, all that up in arms at the moment because they aren't really sure what exactly happened out there either. Now look at this. See, you won a game because of a dishonest gain. They ran a fifth down, which isn't real. That's not something that should happen. But they were all too happy to allow it to happen. So, who won? Go and see if you can find out who the champions are in 1990. I bet it'll be hard for you to find out who it is. Why? No one knows. They're not certain who won. Georgia Tech didn't lose any games, but they also didn't have as many wins. It's a difficult situation. Both of them seemingly having a very similar record. No one knows who won. So CU went on to championship without really being champions. Now, my opinion is they really should never have been there, so they can't possibly be the champions. But hey, help me decide. Write down some comments. You know what? Text me if you want to. Send me a text and tell me whether or not you believe CU or Georgia Tech won that year. Read about this event. This was ill-gotten gain. Our world is all about that. 
I heard a story at the beginning of this whole COVID thing where some guys went out and they purchased all of this toilet paper and all of these things that they knew people were going to need and they kept it. They were going to sell it for gain. Some people think that was terrible. Some people say, Meh, it was okay to do. Listen, the fact of the matter is, is that our world is all about gaining for us and doing things to get gain for us, no matter who it hurts or what it does. So today's thought, are you doing things that are honest? How's your integrity? You know, we've been alone for a long time. Are you doing things that God wants you to do? Or are they dishonoring to him? And no one else knows, only him. And he's not come knocking at your door to tell anybody that you're doing them. How's your integrity? Are you willing to win at all costs, no matter who it hurts or what it does? Sometimes our world is just like that. And if you look as a Christian, sometimes we justify things because we believe they're correct. So guys, today, thinking about this, God was very honest with Israel about their dealings. And Amos brought them this message. So today, your integrity. How is it? Are you willing to win at all costs? All right, guys, have a great day. Hopefully this was an encouragement and it really gets you to look at the things that are going on in your life. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.